Good evening and Happy New Year. I'm Eddie Muller. Tonight and every Wednesday night this January, we're shining the TCM spotlight on the Roaring Twenties, an era celebrated in cinema for its colorful tales of bootleggers, flappers, and speakeasies. Up next, from writer John Landon and director Bud Bedecker, it's a fast and flashy film version of a real-life gangster, The Rise and Fall of Legs Diamond. Jack Legs Diamond was an Irish-American racketeer who cut a swath through the Roaring Twenties, a contemporary of mobster colleagues such as Arnold Rothstein and Dutch Schultz, and one of the most notorious underworld figures in the Northeast. The film follows him at breakneck pace from his origins as a small-time hoodlum to his rise as a bootlegger and mob boss. Now, based on the title, it's pretty obvious how things turn out for Legs. Several actors were rumored to be considered for the title role, including George C. Scott, Robert Vaughn, and James Drury. But the part went to up-and-coming actor Ray Danton, coming off a pair of crooked roles in The Beat Generation and The Big Operator. He was so good in this part, he was again cast as Legs the following year in a movie about another real-life gangster, Dutch Schultz, Portrait of a Mobster. He followed that up, by playing gangster crony George Raft in the George Raft story. Now, the director and cinematographer of this film, Bud Bedecker and Lucian Ballard, were coming off a series of late 50s westerns that, while barely noted as more than programmers at the time, have steadily risen in stature over the years. The collaborators are at the height of their powers here, blasting through a pretty formulaic yarn with an amazing amount of cinematic savvy and energy. Now, Bedecker didn't like to stray too far from his beloved Western loners and brave bullfighters, but he's totally in sync with the material here, turning in a gangster yarn as strong and hard-hitting as a blast of bathtub gin. From 1960, and featuring two future stars in early roles, Warren Oates and Diane Cannon, enjoy this reckless ride through the Roaring Twenties, the rise and fall of Legs Diamond. The golden age of the gangster film was the early 30s. Earlier tonight, we brought you a couple of examples from among literally dozens of racket movies churned out in Hollywood during the Great Depression. The Rise and Fall of Legs Diamond, released in 1960, was part of a brief revival of the gangster genre, spurred in part by the hit TV show The Untouchables. It premiered on TV just a year earlier to great acclaim and millions of viewers, all tuning in to watch Special Agent Elliot Ness battle mobsters in Prohibition-era Chicago. Hollywood studios followed TV's lead, pumping out new mob movies. Pretty Boy Floyd, Mob Barker, Al Capone, and Dutch Schultz all got fresh shoot 'em up biopics, this time around with their actual names attached. The Rise and Fall of Legs Diamond, a furious mix of fact and fiction, is, in my opinion, the best of the bunch. Coming up, tonight's look at the Roaring Twenties continues with another entry in the early 60s mob movie revival, this one starring David Jansen as notorious racketeer Arnold Rothstein. <laughs> 